on everybody? How you doing today? Today we're going to put the iHome Nova LiDAR based robot vacuum with self empty bin through my full floor plan test. We'll see how long it takes, if it gives any types of errors, if it goes back and empties itself, and then we'll go at the end of this video, we'll see how well it cleaned, and then we'll go to the map and the app, and we'll see just how easy it is to separate the rooms, label the rooms, add no-go zones, add clean zones. So it should be a pretty good little test. This is about probably I'd say two weeks of dirt and grime from around the house just every day dirt. I didn't throw down anything extra um, other than cleaning my kitchen. I just wiped whatever was on the kitchen counters onto the ground and I'm gonna have this guy clean it up. So let's go ahead and send it out. I'm gonna do it on normal suction mode. And I hope this guy does a really good job. Cool thing about LiDAR is it immediately starts making a map. And the map is very, very accurate, which once again I'll show you at the end. Another bonus with LiDAR, it can work in complete darkness. And this guy is $399 with the self-empty bin, and that's a very good price. So I'm really hoping that this guy does a good job. So while it starts cleaning, let me go ahead and show you the mess that it has to clean up. Like I said, not really a big mess, but we'll see how well it does in the end. Just everyday debris for the most part. There's some styrofoam that got broken up. See how well it picks up very light stuff. then not much debris in this area but once we get to the kitchen where I threw down all the crumbs there's quite a bit so we'll see just how well it cleans up this area at the end a little bit more styrofoam there and then just everyday mess and as you I don't know if you can hear that but this does have carpet boost detection so when it goes on carpet it automatically puts it on high power as you can hear here it should decrease power see so pretty cool a lot of robots have that but it's a very nice feature another thing that lidar based robots do they always start with the perimeter they'll go around and clean part of a room and then clean inside of that box and then move on to the next section and so on and so forth so I predict, I think this guy's going to do a really good job. As you can see, it's just starting with this room basically over. It'll do all of that and then probably move either in there or in this living room. Alright, let's let this guy clean this entire area. As soon as it's done, we'll check the results. We'll go through the map and see how easy it is to do everything. And uh, hopefully it does an awesome job. $3.99 is a great price. And uh, let's see what this guy can do. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, unfortunately this guy's going back to recharge. It was not able to complete this floor plan on a single charge. But it is the first time it's mapping. So once a map is complete, maybe it can get the job done a little bit quicker. As you can see, got the majority of it. I think another 20 minutes or so could have got done, and it is going back at 14%, so it's possible it could have got it done. Let's see if it empties. Okay, good. Alright, so it's been cleaning for 47 minutes total. It's going to charge for a little while. I'm not sure how long it's going to charge. I don't know if it's going to go back to 100% or take it up to maybe 50% and then go back out. I'll let you guys know when it goes back out. But I really wish it would have had enough battery capacity to do the whole floor plan. Like I said, probably another 20 minutes and it could have got the job done. I'll do this test again later and see if it can complete it quicker now that it has a map. Um, but we'll do that in a later test. So once again, we'll let this charge. It's gonna go back out. 
I'll let you know how long it takes completely to do the job. Then we'll map the floor plan and all that stuff. So we will be back when it is done. All right, everybody, it is done. Let's take a look at how well it did cleaning. Then we'll look at the app and see how much time it took. And we'll see how easy it is to make a map and all that good stuff. This room didn't really have much dirt in it, but nice and clean. You can see the marks that the robot makes, which I always like. The white spot is some, some pudding from a previous test. It's stuck to the ground, so that's not anything to fall to the robot. So yeah, remember we walked through here, there's quite a bit of mess. A little bit of styrofoam left, but not bad. Got up all the stuff that was over here. This place was a big mess over here. And you know, there's a couple crumbs here and there, but not bad for the amount of debris that was there. So I'd say pretty good job overall in here. And then of course the rest of the house. So I'd say it did a really good job overall for its first time going out without having a map. I'd give it a, a very high pass. The only downside for me is I really wish the battery is a little bit bigger so it can complete the job. And then here is how long it took to do the job. So 71 minutes of cleaning time. Then we can add probably I'd say about an hour or so worth of charging. So yeah, I'd say very good job. The map is very accurate. We'll go over the map in just a second. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. it. When I went back to charge it did automatically empty. And of course when it went back out and then came back it emptied again. No issues at all with the bin. It didn't give me any type of errors like it was too full or anything like that. So it works as advertised very well. I actually like this robot quite a bit. Now, the rest of this video is going to be us going through the app and making sure we can make a map easily, label the rooms, divide the rooms, and all that stuff. This is where some robot vacuums fail. The robot vacuums can be really good, but if the app isn't great, then that just makes it fall short big time. So, And one more time, if you want to mind, please smash that like button, subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment below. I'll try to answer all my comments. And let me know any other tests you'd like to see with this guy. This will be tested down in the testing room very soon. And I still have to do the stress test for this, I believe. Alright, thanks for watching. Here is the app and stuff. Alright, everybody. Here is the app. Like I say in all my videos with the LiDAR, it is so accurate. And this is what I love about LiDAR-based robots. You can see literally everything in your rooms. Zoom in over here. This big white blotch is my couch. Then you can see this is like my coffee table here on the right. Straight up top, that's another couch. So this also tells us that the robot is a little bit too tall to get under my specific couches, which is fine by me. I don't really care if they go under the couch or not. You can see over here is my dining table. You can see it went around every single chair leg and it got every square inch basically of this entire floor plan. So very good job there. This is what I love about LiDAR, extremely accurate every single time. So let's go ahead and go into the map and see what all we can do with it. Area manager, that's what they call their mapping. Yeah, as you can see, it kind of gives you a blank slate. So a lot of robot vacuums, they'll automatically guess where your rooms start and end, and they're never correct. I don't like that. So the fact that this is clean, that's perfectly fine by me. I can start from scratch and add my own rooms just like I like it. And also, see this little, I don't know what you call it, these dots here? That's where my computer chair was. So that's just how accurate this thing is. I love it. All right, so now we're going to go to each room and label them as we go. And it's okay if you over box the room. That's not going to affect anything. So this is, let's go ahead and do to that line. It's going to be my kitchen. As you see, it's been added. We're going to add another one here. And this big box is going to be my dining room. As 
Let's say to about right there. And you can change it right here nice and easy. Okay, check mark it, it saves it. Go right back in, add another one. This is gonna be my living room. Next step is gonna be the entryway. Once again, you can be outside the box, no problem. Okay, so you don't have to check mark every single one. You can do it a little bit later, which is fine. This is gonna be my office. It'll be my foyer. And last, this is a den. So there you go, very easy to label the rooms. If you wanna mess with everything and make it a little bit tighter, you can click on this bottom left one and kinda of angle everything. But I think this is gonna be perfectly fine. I don't see this being an issue at all. So now you can actually tell this to clean as many times. Let's see how many times, at least two or three. So let's pretend the living room gets the most traffic. Click on the living room. Then you can go in here and tell it to clean twice or once, which is a cool feature. I like that. Or you can just click on each one like so. There we go, virtual boundary. So now you click on that and you can add a virtual boundaries anywhere you want. So let's pretend like this was going underneath my couch and you don't like that. So you go to here, go to right where your couch is. You can even change the name of that. And now you have a no-go zone for that area so it will never clean there. And it's just that easy. So it does not look like it has two clean areas. That's kind of a newer thing and not a ton of robot vacuums offer that. So that is something very easily they can add in a software update or it's possible I might just be missing it but I don't see it as of right now. All right, well that's basically gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, you learned a few things. If you did, smash that like button, consider subscribing. Let me know what test you'd like to see with this guy. And I got many, many, many more tests Coming, a lot more new robot vacuums on the way. Just a whole lot of stuff coming to this channel. So I would love for you to join it. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one.